Hey guys, Natalie Jill here. Welcome back to Happy, Healthy, and Fit. Today, I've got my friend, Jason Roselle. You might know him from Steve Harvey's show, Jillian Michaels. Yeah, I don't know, his resume is so long, I don't know that I can even, I can remember it all. I'm you know I'm everywhere. I'm just trying to compete with you a little bit. Look, everybody knows her from the World Wide Web. This is how I found her. I'm like, holy crap, I have to meet the one and only oh, Natalie Jill. Jill. But listen, the thing that we had so in common that I thought I've got to get him on here and share this with you is, we both had the weight loss and dealt with the loose skin problem. Skin stretch marks, skin and stretch marks. A while back, I shared a video with you guys that showed what happens with the skin after you have a baby and lose a lot of weight. However, what I couldn't speak on was the stretch marks or losing a lot of weight that's not related to pregnancy. And that's where Jason comes in. And he's a guy. That's another thing I could not be. I could yeah, not be I, I always didn't look like this. Like I was telling her on the phone, mm -hmm. um, I was 75 pounds overweight, reaching 225 wow. pounds. So it was my whole life. It wasn't like a lot of people that gain weight and lose weight until I was 21. I was that fat guy watching TV, eating wow. Oreo cookies till three o'clock in the morning. So it was good, but you didn't feel good about yourself. Absolutely, and it got to the day where I, I, I couldn't even see anything besides my fat stomach. Yeah. So I started doing simple workouts, being that you know I'm also a music artist, mm -hmm. mixing my music with simple 10, 12 minute workouts. You know, losing little by little, and 75 pounds later, now I'm helping the lives of thousands of people online and, and on television, which I'm grateful. Which is amazing. But I also have a lot of extra skin. And I want to talk about that with you guys. Yeah, today. and I do want to show you, and we're gonna actually do a little close up. But I want to show you about what extra skin looks like. Yeah. Because that is what what people don't understand, and I, and I, what I showed you guys before on a video is that you can look like you have abs. You can have abs. I have them. It's a strong muscle, and you can lose the fat. But when you have the loose skin, that is not something that you can just get rid of. I mean, I always joke that downward dog is just not pretty after losing a lot of weight. You're going to have the point. No. You can fix it. You could do with surgery and some other things that we can talk about. But if you don't want to do the surgery, which neither one of us did nope. the surgery, um, you it's just about losing the fat, gaining the muscle, and learning how to hide it well. Right. But the skin is still there, and that's normal. It's normal. Yeah, and also I think it's also realizing that although I'm not perfect, nor is Natalie, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you got to know if you've reached your best goal. Like, this is as lean as I'm going to get. Can I get leaner? Yes, I can. Can you get leaner? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. But then that also produces even more looser skin. Yes. Which what I try to tell people is, once you've reached your best level, know that you can look in the mirror mm -hmm. and say, I look awesome, I feel awesome. And most importantly, I didn't do this with surgery. Mm -hmm. You don't have scars. And we're going to get into this, mm -hmm. all the things that lipo and tummy tucks can do that can really harm you. For so the your experience was different than mine because you lost it from a lot of lifestyle weight. It wasn't right. a pregnancy weight, so it was kind of all over. Right. Did you ever think about doing skin surgery? What was the pros and cons? And, and what's your experience on that? What do you know about that or not know? What helped you with your decision? Losing all the weight was, to me, amazing, from a size 40 pants to a size 29, 30. Now, back then when I lost all the weight, I didn't have any muscles. Problem was, I was saggy everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I was, my arms were just, skinny and soft, skinny fat. Yes. Um, my stomach was flat, but no definition, mm -hmm. right? Uh, everything was very soft and I was like, I told my mom, I said, mom, you gotta give me, you gotta, you know, get me an appointment with a doctor to get all the skin removed. This was the instinct, yeah. you know, cause you don't want that. But then after like doing my research on my own, cause I try to go to trainers and all, all trainers try to do is push you for that moment, get out. But most people don't care. It takes one to know one. I actually ran into somebody mm -hmm. that used to be really overweight and he had muscles. And I said, how'd you do this? He's like, I built the muscle underneath mm -hmm. the skin mm -hmm. to fill up the extra skin. And it didn't make sense to me. So I literally was weighing at one point 138 pounds, mm -hmm. right? And I'm not a tall guy, I'm barely 5'6", right? So you do the math. I was like, I got so skinny and it was like gooey looking, mm -hmm. everything. And then I started doing weights, but very negative weights and building muscle. And all of a sudden, I start seeing definition all over my body mm -hmm. and using the extra skin to my advantage. Make it a positive, and that's honestly what I did. I can easily 
get lipo if mm -hmm. I wanted to. I could have done a lot of things. But let me tell you, after seeing friends and clients that I've worked with, they lose a weight. And once they gain it, especially the lipo, they gain it in different areas. And you can see the spots and I'm like, I rather- you know, That's an interesting concept and I'm certainly not a plastic surgeon, I don't know, but I, I guess from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, if you have lipo, you're removing the fat cells from an area. So if you gain weight back, you're gonna, it's not gonna go to that area, but it's gonna go someplace else. Absolutely, so if we suck it out of say your lower ab abs right here, right? And we put it in a different area, when you gain the weight, you're gonna get dimples as is one of the side effects in the back of your legs. A lot of people do it different ways. But for me, I can sit here all day and flex for a shoot. But as soon as I sit down, I still have extra skin and mm -hmm. I can't do nothing about it. And it's not, and I wanna, this is a great thing to tell the audience, how to know if what you have is fat or skin. Yes, how does somebody tell? Because I know when someone sends me a message and says, I, how do I get rid of my lower body fat, yep. lower belly fat? That's my first question. Is it is it fat? Is it skin? Because there is a difference. Right. How would you gauge telling somebody that? Well, usually what I do is uh, like you know both your fingers, your thumb, and next like literally grab. Like if you zoom in here, you'll see this is all skin. I'm pinching. I can feel my fingers through my skin. There's no fat there, right? I cannot say the same about my arms, but we'll just. Go well, what I'm saying me. is like I'm 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 nine percent body fat. So that's pretty low for a guy. It's pretty, it's you know, yeah. right? But same thing goes for the stomach. So let's see here. If I pinch, right, this is skin. There's like, when you feel fat, you would feel granules of fat. This is just skin that's sitting there. I can't do nothing about that. As you can see, this is my core. I have abdominal muscles, but this is just skin. And you can't focus. And what I'm, t I'm trying to tell the world or my clients, don't focus on that extra skin. If you look in the mirror, you look 90, maybe 95% mm -hmm. better than society. Who gives two Fs if you freaking have a sure. little bit of extra skin? Now, don't get me wrong, because a lot of you out there mm -hmm. watching say, well, I have a lot more skin. That means we have to determine, do you need to lose more fat? Okay. Or have they lost enough No, fat? in fairness, because and I, wanna, I do see people that lose massive amounts of weight, 200 pounds, you know, massive amounts that there is a lot of skin. I mean, it's just skin. Yep. What would you advise there? Because to me, I would think surgery might be the only if, thing to do with that. As long as they have done everything to their power prior to getting to surgery. Like, let's talk about last resort. I didn't do anything and everything to my last power. I was ready. Hey, mom, I lost the weight. Sure. Let's go to the surgery bed so I can look better naked. <laughs> I didn't push myself because a lot of times people want the easy fix. Sometimes people don't even want to lose all the weight. Mm -hmm. But back to your question, for those that have lost such significant amounts of weight, whether it be for me, 75 to 100, 200 pounds or even more, make sure that you are actively working out three to five times a week based on your genetics, age, et cetera. Consult with your doctor. But once you built enough muscle and you're saying, okay, I built muscle, but I still have fat. Yes. That's when I say green light, mm -hmm. you look awesome everywhere else, but you have a lot of skin. You have to do sure. it with me. I've accepted, Hey, you know what? Who gives a crap? I may not have a perfect stomach, but mm -hmm. I'm well-rounded everywhere. Baby and gaining a lot of weight or just massive weight loss. There's, there's a few things, um, that we would, it sounds like we would both advise you to do. The first thing is make sure you've lost the fat that you need to lose. And you do that through the way you eat, eating natural, real, unprocessed foods. Yes. Um, and from intensity and training and doing the right exercises, that's 100%. the first thing. You gotta lose the fat. And that means there's a mix of cardio, there's weight training, there's eating right, there's a, whatever you do, but you gotta lose that fat. The second thing is you have to build the muscle. You have to develop the muscle. You have to build the muscle underneath the skin, whether yes. you like it or not. And then it's deciding what your reason is for wanting to go further. Because if you've done, if you if you have lost the fat and yep. you have developed the muscle, surgery is a very personal choice. I'm not against it if that's what somebody chooses. Um, but just knowing your why for that. If it's if it's aiming for perfection, just know that there there's never perfection. So whether you keep the skin or you have a surgery and you have scars, there's never going to be perfection from that. I'm glad you joined me here. Now, one thing we did not touch on was um, stretch marks. No, I I did not get them. I know you did. I want to. Let yeah. me share that and what you've done to minimize that or what, what's your opinion about that? Because oh. I do get questions about that a lot. My personal experience, uh, I had purple and red. So okay. I guess, you know, there's different stages of it. 
My heaviest is one that were pure purple. Okay. That's when I was like even disgusted to like look in the mirror. Sure. Um, but I noticed as I was losing the weight, um, it would be turn into like red, mm -hmm. and then eventually um, they would just become more see through. But mm -hmm. let me explain what I did to soften this. Okay. Um, so I, as you lose weight and you become smaller, mm -hmm. um, you want to not A, lose the weight drastically. I always tell this to my clients, they want, and I'm sure you get it all the time, yeah. I want to lose as much weight as quick as possible. When you lose weight, and like I was doing it at one point really fast, mm -hmm. your skin becomes even more loose mm. and my stretch marks were becoming more visible. Because it can't keep up with it. It can't keep up. It, it just can't keep up with it. So what I did was instead of losing, say, average of four to six pounds a week, because I was going extreme, mm -hmm. mind you, I was a bigger guy, so it's easier to lose more weight. And I don't want you thinking, watching this, I'm, I'm 15 pounds overweight that you're going to do that. Don't do that. I'm saying for someone that's 60 pounds and above, you can afford to lose three to six pounds a week. So what I did was I slowed it down. I only was losing about two to four pounds a week. And then every night before going to bed, um, my grandmother taught me this concoction. It's a uh, pure olive oil mm -hmm. with honey and um, uh, uh, disfiltered uh, vinegar. Okay. So uh, she would put it in a saran wrap for me, but she would, you know, kind of like a brush. Yeah. She would just brush it for me. I would suck in my stomach. True Whoa. story. In this wrap. Uh -huh. And I swear to God, because I'll pull this, pull this up in this video, my stretch marks, see, can you see here so where they were? So grandma. Like all this, who write that down? all this, all this was who purple knew? stretch marks. So, okay guys, so it's normal, first of all, accept it, the yes. skin. Lose the fat, make sure you've done that. And we're going to share information below on how you can get help with that too. Work Build out. Build the muscle. Work underneath out. the yep. fat. <laughs> and then I'm going to put all the information down below on where you can find Jason and then from both of us where you can get stuff to help you lose the fat, build the muscle, and and more. And then go go say hi. Do you have a YouTube channel? Absolutely. Uh, my uh, Well, my website has it all. It's calientefitness.net. I can't pronounce that, but let's try to get cal caliente. Did I do it right? <laughs> caliente. Um, it fitness. means hot, baby. Oh, I like it's it. It's hot, hot so You fitness. can subscribe to his YouTube channel, see yeah. stuff from him, find him on through his website, all of his social media. I'm sure he's got like me, all Twitter, Snapchat. Periscope, whatever. I can YouTube, Instagram. Facebook, yeah. Instagram. Thanks, you guys. See ya. Bye.